by a suicide bomber while serving in Iraq, Major Scott Smiley has inspired everyone around him with his story of hope unseen. And today, an emotional farewell from Major Smiley as he retired from the U.S. military. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. Since he was blinded in 2005, Major Smiley has continued to serve, most recently as the Assistant Professor of Military Science for Gonzaga's ROTC program. KXY Force Grace Sister working for you. And Grace, those who know Major Smiley, call him a hero for the way he served our country and inspired so many. What's he going to do now that he's retiring? Nadine, when I asked Major Smiley that question, he didn't hesitate. Though he and his wife don't know exactly where the future, what the future holds, Smiley knows two things. He'll be full of adventure and helping others. Major Smiley and his wife Tiffany describe his experience in the military as nothing short of a roller coaster ride. But Scotty soon after we got married deployed for a whole year. Are you all and six months into that was blinded for the rest of his life. But in the last 10 years he has defied the odds, becoming the first blind active duty officer, a father, a surfer, a mountain climber, a teacher, and inspiration. Today, Scotty's friends, family, and colleagues celebrated his 12-year career. He was a phenomenal uh, person to work with. It's been an honor to uh, know Scotty and uh, to work by him. Colonel David Bingham presented him with an award and an American flag. Then an emotional smiley thanked everyone who helped him get here. Smiley says the end of this phase is bittersweet. It's surreal, uh, while well, at the same time it's it's exciting to begin a new chapter in life. Scotty and Tiffany don't know what comes next, but they know with each other and with their faith, more amazing things are sure to come their way. The country is amazed by Scotty's story. He travels and he speaks and he shares his story often. And people are eager to hear it and want to hear it. And it's impactful and it's powerful. So I think we'll just team up. We'll um, love on our boys and we'll travel, we'll share our story, um, we'll try to, you know, encourage people along the way. And though the distant future is still unclear, Scott Smiley knows the next step, complete in the compete in the Coeur d'Alene Ironman without his sight. Reporting in studio, Grace Stitzler, KXLY 4 News. Oh, thank you for that, Grace. And earlier this week, KXY 4's Melissa Luck shared Major Smiley's journey to becoming an Ironman and with his brother-in-law, Andy Cooper. A documentary film crew is following the pair as they prepare for race day, and they even have a Kickstarter account to fund that project. Now, it ends in just four days, and they have a lot left to raise to meet their goal. If you'd like more on Major Smiley's journey to Iron Man and how to donate to that Kickstarter campaign, just go to KXOI.com. We have the full story and link there for you. You can also look for updates on his training right here on KXOI 4 and on social media. Just search KXOI 4 News.